Who are you? My name is Fred Armisen. Fred Armisen, welcome to South by Southwest. It's uh, a pleasure to be here. You're very versatile, though. Like, you love the Stooges. Does that make me versatile? You love TLC. Does that make me versatile? Yeah, from the Stooges to TLC to out there on IFC. That's right. So, like, you're so versatile. You're, like, the most versatile person out there, Fred. So I thought, in honor of the Stooges, because you have done some stooging with Dinosaur Jr., haven't you? It was a high point of my life, seriously. And to remember that high point of your life, Fred, I have a gift for you right here. What do we have underneath right here? Let's see. Here we go. Can you please explain about the event? Okay, first of all, I am uh, opening up a towel. Whoa, do I see Jay Maskus? <gasps> this is great. Look at this. Now, could you please explain to the people, you, Jay Maskus, the Stooges? Yeah, and um, uh, Tommy Stinson was on bass from The Replacements. It was awesome. I loved it. And Jay Maskus, I consider to be a friend of mine, and I really am a fan of his. And he's been on Portlandia, and he's the best. Now, I got to ask you about your rock and roll past. One band that I love is Trenchmouth. What can you tell the people about this gig right here at Gilman Street that your band Trenchmouth played? Well, Gilman Street, I think we've played a couple of times. Uh, one time we couldn't play because we had just been signed to East West, which is a major label, and uh, we couldn't. But one time we did play before we were on East West. And this is the poster from that with the band Your Mother. Wow. And they remember your bass player going up to the mic and burping and then saying burrito every time he burped. He's uh, well, that's Wayne, the bass player. He's a brilliant bass player, and I always had a great time and. Berkeley and in San Francisco and I remember we used to save money and go record shopping whenever we'd go there we'd go to Amoeba Records but um, I I took some really good photos at Gilman Street I remember me being on a couch pretending to be asleep and I love Gilman Street well Fred I like to think of you as being Chicagoan well I spent a lot of time in Chicago but I am not from there do you remember the show She Could Go Go at all the TV show She Could Go Go of course I do I was on it Yes, you were on it, and you did one of the first appearances ever of Ferrisito on Chica Go Go. Yeah, it was a children's show, so it was, that's what made it extra fun. And I have a gift for you from Chica Go Go right here. This is your appearance on Chica Go Go. Why is it two DVDs? Well, one is actually a Chica Go Go soundtrack, and the second is the actual DVD of your performance. I've never seen it, so this is a first for me. Please, let's give a warm oh, anyway. cable access debut on Chica Go Go. Welcome to the one... The only Ferisito! <laughs> Ready for a little salsa dancing lesson with Ferisito? Yeah. yeah, all right. All right, listen, before we start, I'm gonna play the drum a little bit and I need you guys to say, We love you. Can you do that? We love you. No, not, not yet, man. Wait until I play the drum. Listen, you don't know me well enough to love me, man. Okay, it's too soon. You don't tell people you love them just right off the bat like that. I'm not calling you for a week. Now we're gonna do a little salsa dance lesson. And I want you guys to do exactly what I do, okay? And this is the true tradition of salsa, okay? So do not mess it up or I will kick you out, okay? All right, let's bring up the music a little tiny bit. Okay, watch with me. And then we're gonna put it all together and do it really fast, okay? So you go like this. Then the left hand. There you go. And then, hey, that's really good. Then forward, then back, then up, then back, then walk like this, then turn around, then jump, and then like this, and then you go the shoulders like this, put the shoulders back again like, no, see, you're not doing it right. You gotta memorize this. Let's try it from the top again, okay? Let's try it. First, a little, like I say from the beginning, a little tap dance first, like this. We're gonna do this for about two hours, like this. Two hours, let's do it straight. Okay, then a little bit of punching like this. <laughs> okay, let, let's cut the music. That's all right. That's enough of a salsa. You guys did a great job. Fred, punk rock, crisis of conformity. 
Yes, love letter, a love letter to punk, American hardcore punk. It is so nice that you provided the people with this record. What can you tell the people with this record? I love the photos and stuff. Please explain the photos first. That's me, hardcore style. That's Dave Grohl up there. Although he doesn't play on the record, but you used this photo to help sell the record. Classic punk rock technique. Did you not, the sketch, he's playing drums in the sketch. But not on the actual record though. Were people disappointed he's not on the actual record? People are never disappointed about anything. Who are the other people involved in the sketch? Like you had different little tidbits of information out there, like the Norton wedding. For people that don't know, could you explain a bit about this Christ conformity? Because this is genius. This is like the Queen haters in reverse. Well, thank you very much for saying that. Good reference. I can't believe you know about the Queen haters. But then again, I can believe it. Um, I did a sketch on SNL, which was a love letter to American punk. And... I put a bunch of references in there to all the bands that I loved. And even musically, there's references to Husker Du and Bad Brains and Dead Kennedys and Black Flag. And um, the opening shot is of a wedding and it says Cadena Norton. That's Des Cadena and Greg Norton. And then we just put all of these elements in it. It was sort of like, you don't hear it in the sketch, but the name of my character is Ian. And um, it's just everything put together and all the whole thing is a love letter to punk and then Ashton Kutcher was the guitar player in it and then Bill Hader played bass and Dave Grohl played drums and I sang and we even thank if you look at the thank yous here uh, we thank Billy and Ash That's, uh, that would be Bill Hader and uh, Ashton Kutcher Dave Grohl and what's amazing you also thank Ian Mackay and your band Trenchmouth played with Fugazi what do you remember about playing with Fugazi and Trenchmouth those are always the biggest shows because there was a million people there because everyone loved Fugazi so much. And they were so nice to us, Fugazi. I'm, I'm still friends with Ian, and I love Ian. For Saturday Night Live... And, Owen and Brendan Canty uh, recorded this. And we recorded this at his studio. On Saturday Night Live, Fear Play, the legendary fear punk performance. You being part of Saturday Night Live, have you ever talked to the higher-ups, Lauren Michaels, about that night? Do you have any insight into that? Well, Lauren wasn't the executive producer at the time. So I haven't had a chance to really talk to him about that, but I talked to him about the specials and I talked to him about the replacements. So I've talked to him about other punk bands that have been on. But he actually was involved because I know Ian Mackay said Lauren Michaels phoned up and said, get some people down to the studio. So I guess, have you heard about the legend at night? Like, hey, we're doing a punk skit. This better not be like the last punk skit. I, I haven't heard, I haven't talked enough about it. I will, I will, I will find out soon. Fred Armisen, I love the way you pump punk rock. Like, for instance, the opening for Sunday Night Live, there's like a jam reference. There's jam. Has Paul Weller thanked you? Have the Sex Pistols thanked you? Because you're looking through jam and Sex Pistols records. Well, my original intent was to, for it to be Sex Pistols and Style Council. And then they didn't have a Style Council section. They had the jam. So I said, okay, that'll do. And I love Paul Weller and I love Steve Jones. And then I talked to Steve Jones and he said he noticed and he was really psyched about it. Cynthia P. Caster. Cynthia Plastercaster. Yeah, she's a legend. What can you tell the people about Cynthia Plastercaster from Chicago? What does she do for the people that don't know? She, is, uh, she takes plaster casts of people's, uh, I'm sorry, of men's uh, famous rock stars' erect penises. And her, I think the most famous one was Jimi Hendrix. Actually, the most famous one is Long John Langford. John Langford of the Mekons. Oh, right. Okay. He had the biggest dick. Right, right. right. He had the biggest one. And you've actually drummed for that dick, haven't you? Yeah. I was behind that cock. On John Langford's appearance at South by Southwest a couple times, right? That's exactly right. Now, I have a question for you, or a message for you, actually, Fred Armisen, from Cynthia Plastercaster. Quote, I'm not sure if he knows, but Fred's always welcome in my collection. I love it. That's very nice of her. But it's probably too late by now? Maybe. I don't know if she's still doing it. Would you like to address Cynthia at all right now to the camera? Cynthia, I love you. You're uh, such an energetic, wonderful, funny, sweet person, and I like how she talks. She has a very sweet voice. Fred Armisen, winding up here, bobblehead. We have a bobblehead right there for Jay Mascus. Do you think you ever get like a Portlandia bobblehead perhaps? Someday. Because it's getting close to comedy, bobbleheads and comedy. Because I have another gift for you. Maybe to entice you to get a Portlandia bobblehead. Who might we have underneath these here? Are, these are wrapped in towels. That's the fun of it. But now I'm keeping it. be? But now I can't. Wow. What do we have here? Whoa, David Cross. Your good buddy from Tinkle. You've done some tinkles with him, haven't you? Some tinkling. Yeah, a lot of tinkling. And I, I love David. So are you getting jealous? Like here we have Jay Mascus, David Cross. It's getting pretty close to Portlandia, right? Yeah, but things come in, in due time. 
These people have earned it. It's amazing how your dreams come true. You love Sarah McLaughlin, don't you? I very much love Sarah McLaughlin. Now, what did you do with Sarah McLaughlin at a press conference for Lilith Fair there, Fred Armisen? Oh, well, that's when Paula Cole wasn't there. And um, I sort of interrupted a press conference there and I made reference to Paula Cole. Now, later on, you had Sarah McLaughlin on Portlandia. Yeah, I wonder if she remembered. That's what I was wondering. Is that the first thing that you thought of, that maybe when you asked her, she wouldn't appear because you dissed Paula Cole? Yeah, I, she, it didn't come up. So I thought, well, it's not going to come up. Fred Armisen, Portlandia, Casa Diablo. Sí, es un Casa Diablo, pero también de Ángeles. Translation, vegan strip club? That's not quite a, a, a translation, literally. But vegan strip clubs, they exist there. But you are in the, quote, Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. Oh, yes. Because there's a Trenchmouth cassette in a display. Now, this is amazing. What can you tell the people about that, Fred? I love this. Because it's the African exhibit. How are you in the African exhibit? Why do you think it happened? I would like you to tell the people about this amazing instance. Damon Locks, the singer of Trenchmouth, worked at the Field Museum. So... <laughs> Dink. Well, thanks so much, Fred Armisen. Keep on rocking in the free world and do, 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 do.